guys and welcome to another vlog and by vlog i mean like a super chill just like home vlog also i'm like doing the dishes right now but i actually wrote down a couple of things that i want to talk to you guys about because it feels like such a long time since we've had like such a chill vlog just spending the day us two together so Christian and I actually started a new series on HBO show Titans it's pretty good honestly like I didn't expect it to be like that dark and gory I mean it's not super gory it's just like you know like when they fight and stuff like it's not like they make an effort to like hide what happens to the person, you know? Something else that I want to talk about, which is super exciting actually, and it is that I'm actually heading to one of my favorite cities, perhaps my favorite city ever, and it is New York. I'm heading to New York at the end of the month. My dad really misses me he said because i obviously moved from puerto rico to maryland and he hadn't seen me since the wedding so we got the idea of just like meeting up in new york this month and we're gonna be together christian is coming along with us on the trip we're probably gonna be driving honestly because the flights are like crazy expensive for like in one hour flight from maryland to new york and we checked like to go on a bus but i don't know it seems like such a hassle to just like leave the car take a bus and then come back i think that we're probably gonna go on our first like actual like couple of hours worth of road trip to go to new york um and we're actually going to be staying at my dad's front house so at least we're not gonna have to like book a place to stay which is nice because we can save some money that way and i have like a couple of things that i want to do in new york although my main priority is just like be with them and do whatever they want to do but i do have two things that i suggested that, that we do the first one is go to like central park and just like go on these little like boats rowing boats because i see like a couple of girls on instagram do it and they take some pretty amazing and beautiful pics um while they're in the boat and central park is in the background and the city the buildings it's just like a super aesthetic photo that i need to have and i need to experience and the boats are like 20 dollars and they fit um four people so that's nice christian and i can get a boat for ourselves and take that photo and then another thing that we're gonna do was something that my dad suggested and once he suggested it i was like oh my gosh like i need to do that and it's to visit this like new building that's called the summit and it's like a glass building and it's just pretty amazing i've heard wonderful things about it so i am definitely excited to head there so those are two of the updates and now i just want to show you a couple of things around the house that i have bought for like the past couple of weeks since we've shattered and the first one wooden bookshelves and if you have seen me since i was living in puerto rico in my apartment with christian over there you would remember that i have the exact same wooden ladder on our living room over there but because we moved it's like something pretty big that we can't really like take on an airplane which is what we did I, like rebought this wooden bookshelf and i decorated it with a little plant section over there i have like a house plants book here my beautiful neon pothos which i've had since forever and i also added three novels and these three novels are novels that i have already read and love and then two 
pictures one of our wedding and one of our engagement photo session this one is just like obviously the wedding kiss photo and these little like counting blocks um and then this one i just have like a little cooking section and date ideas section and then i just have this beautiful frame that my mother-in-law sent us when we first moved in here and i just need to print out a photo of our wedding to just like clip on here and then over on this part it's just like our beautiful engagement photo there with like some self-help books on the sides and then like a couple of just like teacups and i just think it looks so cute i'm so obsessed with it and it ties everything together like look at this this is such a vibe here we have my beautiful monstera over here some two pots with plants the tv the stand the lamp the fall leaves it's just a vibe and we love that for us also this was part of our wedding decor and i added it here it's so cute this was part of the wedding um seating shirt like the one of the halves um and it just says our name and our wedding date and it's in the office and it looks so good and so cute and i just wanted to show you this beautiful straw hat that i got from target i've been wanting a straw hat since forever and it was only five dollars and it's so freaking cute you guys should i try it on here's the summer vibe do you love that i mean i need to like adjust it a little bit on the back but like here's how it looks like i can barely see you guys for five dollars it was pretty cool i actually wanted to share um a review on the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i finished this book i think that about almost a week ago and it's the third novel that i've read in the year I also read like another book, so like four books in total during the year. And honestly, it took me a while to get into this book, but once I did, I was like, oh my gosh, like I need to finish it. I need to know what happens. And I actually wrote down a pretty awesome review on TikTok about it, so I'm going to read it because I spent quite some time just like doing that and <laughs> i wrote down it took me a while to get into and actually be obsessed with however as you get closer and closer to the end that's when the emotional roller coaster really hits you definitely a shocking book with an unexpected and jaw-dropping plot twist i really like how it gives us a glimpse of how being famous is not as marvelous as it looks and i love how it incorporates certain struggles we're unfortunately still struggling with to this day when it comes to the patriarchy lgbtq plus matters bipoc matters and the sexualization of women so there's that but it was pretty good i actually gifted it to my grandma for mother's day she loves reading books and i remember when i was in middle school like i used to give her all of my books that i needed to read for like spanish classes or english classes and she used to like read it specifically spanish because she doesn't know english so i don't know i just thought it was gonna be like such a cool gesture to just like give it to her since it's so interesting honestly and the other update that i have you guys oh my gosh if you follow me on instagram or on tiktok you guys will already know this but don't look you guys don't look don't look don't no peeking and no peeking Ta-da! i got the apple airpods max they were so cute. I got it in a pink color and I just was just listening to the What We Said podcast and JC was just like raving about them and I was like, fine, I'm gonna get it. I needed like good um, headphones to edit my sound on YouTube videos and this was just what I needed to get motivated to actually learn about that. I've never like found any interest in like audio editing 
especially because Christian is like a beast with that like he know what he does and I just sometimes just give him my videos to edit the audio but the majority of the times I don't because I don't want to bother him so during the past week Christian and I have actually been like sitting down and he was like explaining to me how to edit audio so I've been like learning that definitely a new like learning slash knowledge venture that I've been like going through and so this is keeping me motivated to just like expand my knowledge in that they're super cute and i love them a ton especially for editing as i said and i just love like the noise canceling i love like the spatial audio and the transparency mode and this cute little like bag slash carrying case i would say and they're pink but they're more of like a reddish like hot pink color i don't know they're not like as pink as i want them to be but they're still like super cute and i knew they were gonna be like this and it's just the color that i love everything pink so there's that i actually have other updates that i want to share with you and i think that we're here when in our room and the first update let me just like put it more cute because it's not really that cute right now i got new pillowcases i got the matching pillowcases from urban outfitters and they're in the little like pricier side especially for just the pillowcases and once i received it as you can probably tell like even though in urban outfitters are like the same color in real life they are sort of like darker but i'm not sure if with um constant just like washing they'll turn into this pretty color right here but this is the vibe like it's definitely looking much prettier specifically because i was getting tired of like the white um pillows and not having like a cute little throw pillow like this to add a little bit of more character to the bed so i got this pillow from target and now i'm just really obsessed with ah, my bed our bed so cute so aesthetic and it just like i don't know just adds something to the bed with like all the wooden light wood um furniture and the plants it's just like a total freaking vibe you guys like love that and then something else that i'm seeing right now is this hatch alarm clock that i bought the other day and you guys call me crazy but this alarm clock was a hundred and forty dollars i know it was definitely an impulse buy, but I felt like I needed to just like do it because I struggle so much with waking up early. Um, I just like snooze my like phone alarm clock forever, and I end up waking like two hours after the alarm clock started sounding which is crazy oh my gosh like thank god that i work from home i work for myself because it would be a problem if i didn't <laughs> but i bought this hatch alarm clock and i'm just like really loving it right now currently um, i don't know if it's because i'm trying to justify in my head spending 140 dollars on a freaking alarm clock but if that's what it takes for me to like actually wake up early in the morning to get started with work um earlier and just like do my morning routines then have at it but basically this alarm clock comes with like an app where you can download and you can like create your night routines for example, like you can add like a couple of minutes to use a skincare routine. Um, I don't know, like a couple of minutes to read your book during the night. And it has like a light that lights up the room a little bit. But it's not as harsh as like lighting in general. Just like 
it just like comes from the hatch alarm clock and it's like closer to your bed right here in your head once you start your night routine just like cut down um screen time on your phone and just like do the things that are like healthier for you to do before you go to bed and then in the morning actually it wakes you up with like a beautiful just like alarm that it's not like the blaring like sound that your alarm clock on your iphone does much more peaceful and just like a happier way to wake up up and i also really love i was just filming a tiktok video about this where some of you well just like a random person um she doesn't follow me she just saw like my tiktok video and asked me if like it was working since i've had it for like quite some weeks now and i was telling her that it was um and i just really just like thought about this because i feel that i like now know the reason why it's been hard for me for to wake up and part of the reason is that i just like snooze the alarm clock this alarm clocks before it actually like wakes you up with your alarm it starts just like mimicking a sunrise which means that 30 minutes or however much time you wanted to like start doing that before the actual alarm clock it like lights up and mimic a sunrise and sometimes that little sunrise since i do sleep right next to it wakes me up and i just like open my eyes like a little bit and see that it's like turned on and in my brain i'm like oh damn like i'm gonna wake up soon so it just like helps me just like process the fact that i'm gonna wake up soon which i think that i need in order to just like wake up like that's the problem with like the normal alarm clocks that i snooze it because i'm just like oh yeah like i need to wake up soon but let me just snooze it for a couple of more minutes of just like rest time but with this alarm clock since it does it before 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 the actual time that i set my alarm to be well it just like helps me process that a little bit better which is just like i think crucial for myself personally to just like wake up at the center of the alarm clock and not snooze it so that's why i really like it and something else that i want to share with you is actually right here in my closet and i have it in like a little prop box that i have inside my closet and it's just this beautiful tower tower towel that i got from five and below i posted it on instagram and one of my friends was like it looks like something like spongebob <laughs> would just like i don't know like spongebob aesthetic and i was like you're totally right girl but it's just so cute it's just this beautiful freaking beach towel and if you see closely here in the ticket it's just so freaking cute like the vibrant colors and flowers i think it's gonna look so good for when i do like a little photo shoot during the summer i'm getting so excited and pumped for the summer right now it's spring but sometimes it just gets like cold still like oh my gosh like i'm not accustomed for it being like cold the majority of the months during the year like please give me the summertime you guys like it's freaking may when does summer start like like the sun is actually setting at like 8 p.m which we love because i don't like the night at all i've never been like a night fan i'm all about the mornings and the daylight but oh my gosh like please give me the warm weather please um so yeah <laughs> so this vlog is like all over the place but i just like wanted to catch up with you guys for like some things that i need to like show you around the house you know there's that um i hope you enjoyed this random vlog please make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of a uh, my other life updates that I no doubt am going to keep sharing with you and also make sure to follow me on Instagram to keep up with my day-to-day -day life. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!